Welcome to the Gerald Podcast with me, Simon Burridge, and the love of my life, Rachel Burridge. Aww. <laughs> No, I can't see. Hey. Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to the Cherrywood Podcast. I'm Rachel. And I'm the lovely Simon Burridge. <laughs> oh, what, what, you forgot your name? <laughs> I'm the lovely, um, uh, um, what's my name? <laughs> you're you're going to be wiping my ass before we know it. <laughs> I really won't. I'll get someone in to do that. Oh. No, no. Ah, standing, Rach. <laughs> <laughs> or, or Raph's Rach. Get Raph's Rach in. Yeah. Actually, no, I must admit, she phoned me up yesterday. Who's Raph's, who's Raph's Rach? Do you want to explain who she is or not? Well, no, because she might not want to okay, be. Okay, your <laughs> friend Rachel. Yes, my friend, my on. other friend Rachel. I have a lot of friends called Rachel. Mm -hmm. um, she did phone me up last night and she said, um, before we start, like, because we were having a conversation, she went, can I just say... Oh, my oh, voice right. is <laughs> You're getting emotional. <laughs> yeah, That's it, yeah, cough, cough straight into the mic if you can. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and she said, can I just say, your podcast makes me smile so much. And it really touched me. It really got me, really got me emotional. But no, it, it was really sweet. She went, she said to me, I was, she was having a bit of a rubbish old day. Um, and she said she listened to our podcast yesterday when we did the little short um of what we were doing yesterday which we'll talk about later but um she said it really really cheered her up and made her laugh so Aww. i just thought it was really sweet i don't know how to say it, <laughs> don't I? <laughs> after, after nearly what 10 yeah 12 i still don't years. know <laughs> the british as they come she is but it's rachel well, she might not El want to be known yeah <laughs> te quiero te quiero <laughs> Anyway, right, so, Cherry Wall Podcast adverts. Yep, Boom. episode 30 has just happened, isn't it? Yep. Kelly Tolhurst, MP. I was going to drop an advert? or we What advert are you dropping? I don't know. You said we normally introduce oh, yeah. it and then drop an advert. Yeah, okay, we're going to advert right now. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Today's sponsors are Angelo's Interiors, specialising in kitchens, bedrooms and bathrooms. Go and visit their showroom today in Gillingham. Their web address is angelosinteriors.com. Dimidishi Associates, Chartered Structural and Civil Engineers. Based in the UK with a worldwide reach. Visit their website on dimidishiassociates.com. <laughs> you don't have... You can, you can still talk. You can cut Boom. it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just sit there in silence. And we're back. <laughs> just like this. I, just, <laughs> like I don't know why, but I sort of wait for what I think is the length of the adverts <laughs> before I come back when I just need to just cut it. I know. I do, I do cut it anyway, but I just think it's a little bit funny. Okay, right. So, as we were saying before, so the, the podcast that came out on Friday was MP Kelly Towerst. Yep. I would was... try and advertise it a bit more on YouTube, but I'm having a lot of trouble. Because it keeps thinking it's like a party political broadcast or her, her trying to campaign. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's so, interesting. But it's a good one. It's nothing to do with her trying to sell her party. You know, we, we don't disclose. Just to know we her. don't really disclose who we vote for, do we? No. And, and we vote. We, I'm, I'm a swinger. Voter. Which I think I told her that, didn't I? Yeah. I said to her, I'm a swinger. She went, you don't really want to talk about that. <laughs> and yeah, so... Yeah, it's nothing to do with who, if you're blue or if you're red or if you're even green. A red one can come on if they want to come on. Yeah, come on. <laughs> it was to do with her journey and how she got there. Uh, and absolutely. she said it was by chance. So mm. it was good. So you don't have to watch it now because she said by chance. And who's coming up? Zoe, Zoe Ashby. Who's coming that. up? No, no, I hate that word when they say journey. Oh, journey. Yeah, it's but we use it as one of our titles. I know, and I can't Business stand journey it. banter. I know. <laughs> well, it, it just winds <laughs> me BJB. Up. I know a girl that was called that. No, I didn't. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I've lost myself now. I think of um, blowjobs. No, you can't I mean, say that. No. Um, and uh, living Did you know in Gravesend, there used to be a hairdresser when I was growing up, right? And it was called blowjobs. And it had a pair of lips on the front of the window. No, it didn't. I swear to you. If anyone in Gravesend's listening to this and you remember... Um, I can't remember the road. I think it was Root and Road, Gravesend. Blowjobs hairdressers. Message in. 
to prove Rachel wrong. There was a hairdresser's called Blowjobs, right? And we had PE once, and for PE, we had to wear white T-shirts. And my mate turned up with a Blowjobs T-shirt on, the hairdresser Blowjobs T-shirt on, got done for it. <laughs> that is ridiculous. No. They were selling T-shirts with Blowjobs written on it. <laughs> and this kid bought one. <laughs> yeah, that was All his parents bought it for him. <laughs> we're talking like 13, 14 year old. 13, 14. <laughs> you're old. I've gone Grey's End. I've gone all Grey's End on you all. <laughs> it's like when you talk about like um, the Australian people that we chat to, like okay, right, and, Ka- <laughs> and, and Grant and stuff like that. And you go, all right, mate. <laughs> and I think it's still going Australian. Fair dinkum. <laughs> Has the phone gone off? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh it, the phone's going off. How weird. Right, we're back. Sorry, that was someone inquiring <laughs> about... Um, <laughs> Mid-podcast. Yeah, I better turn my phone off. But we are waiting for a guest to turn up. And... The guest is the owner of Chatham Football Club, which would be quite nice. So, um, yeah, sorry. So I have to keep have to keep my phone somewhere. Oh, yeah, I, it right. was showing. It was showing the. Um, what were we even talking about now? We were showing the numbers. We were showing the figures. Yeah. Um, and we were talking about obviously Kelly's been on, and hopefully they're going up. Well, they were all going up. They've just look. They're shooting up as we speak. Nineteen thousand two hundred and sixty six. When we recorded this, and we recorded this. Three days before it comes out. <laughs> like right, that. so Kelly was on, 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 she was out on Friday, wasn't she? Kelly told her, yeah. I nearly and... went, I nearly said Kelly who? <laughs> Kelly who? <laughs> oh, sorry. Kelly. Um, and we've got Zoe Ashby from Zappa coming Zoe out. Zoe Ashby. So Zappa is Zoe... Adele. Adele. She confused us with that. It's not a surname. It is a middle it's name. It's a middle name. So Zoe Adele performing arts, mm-hmm. and she was lovely, lovely northern girl, sort of the earth, <laughs> isn't she? And she, she talks about her performing arts um, background, yeah, studios, she, studios, yeah, and we're yeah. going to be filming one of their or their shows. You're going to be doing photos on their shows, so that's all good. Yeah. And that came from the podcast. Whoa, H, didn't it? Did we book it? No, she booked us last year. <laughs> So I'm going to just take that back It's then. got nothing to do with the podcast. <laughs> got nothing to do with the podcast. But, uh, yeah, so that was so, good. So yesterday we did a little reel, didn't we? <clears throat> we put up a little reel on our Cherrywood account. Yeah. So we put a reel up on Thursday, didn't we? Oh, yeah, I'm saying yesterday. Yeah, but it was Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. And remember, this is Monday. Yeah. yeah Thursday. So, so Thursday. No, no, it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Thursday we put a reel up. Rachel was dressed up as a bridesmaid when I thought she was gonna I didn't really think she was gonna be a photographer. We always knew she was gonna be I was I was the bride, oh, not yeah. the bridesmaid. Sorry. <laughs> You're usually forever the bride, never the bridesmaid. No, no not the way around. <laughs> well for you, you are. I'm I'm forever the groom. Never <laughs> well, we the know groom that. never the groom's maid. <laughs> Don't know. Don't know. I've is never, never been best. Man? No one's ever had the bottle to have me best man. Or they just don't like me. No, they just know what you would come out with in their speech. I'd be really good, best man. I'd knock out a speech. I would have no script. You did have a friend once who was really <laughs> nervous. Yeah, just, hit, just hit the mic. It's fine. No, you had a friend that was who was really nervous once, didn't you? So he did his speech, he and you had on there like. On, um, I'm not going to show my wife, but you had on there, like, he had his cards, didn't he? And he was reading out saying, thank you to the bridesmaids. And as he was holding it up, it had, yeah. it had words down here, he, like, save me. <laughs> he, ba- he basically said, can you help me? He said, I'm struggling with the speeches. <laughs> and so he brought, I think he came around my house, didn't he? I don't uh, know. Oh, I don't no, we want you. Oh, that's we the day together. I met you. That's the day I met you. He came round and he said, what do you think of this? I said, mm. oh, is it going off again? <laughs> yes. Right. Oh, hello, everyone. Sorry about that. That was a call from our next guest. He unfortunately can't make it now. Um, so, yeah, we've had a few interruptions on this podcast. He can't make it because they've got a pitch inspection and that just turns up randomly for them um, at Chatham Football Club or all football clubs. Um, but look who's but turned up. We did have our little pad one. Is it pad one? Yeah, pad, pad one. one. Had one learner. And learner. We haven't just thrown him in because the um, other guest won. He just turned up at the same time as the phone call, unfortunately. <laughs> he did tell me he was turning up today. I totally yeah, forgot. Yeah. <laughs> totally forgot. He means, he means nothing to me. Anyway, so. Before um, we actually got on to Riley and just dis- being. Oh, distracted. what were we on? Because it felt so long. It felt so long. Right. Ago. We had Kelly Tellhurst to come out. And coming up, we got Zoe Ashby. Yeah, we spoke about yeah, Zoe. Yeah, so we spoke about Zoe. Um, right. Yesterday. Uh, well, sorry, I was saying yesterday. We did a, this week, we did a, um, a photo 
What would they a promotional it's a wedding sty- shoot? It's a style it's shoot, isn't it? That's yeah, what so it. it's like you get um, models Spenders. trying on dresses. Obviously, they were didn't have any models yesterday, did they, Rach? Because uh, that'd get you in it, didn't they? Do you know what you said to me as well? I was having my makeup done. Yeah, but it was a little, joke. It this was a little t- thing. Looked at the bridesmaids and went, "Oh, we've got a mature bride today, haven't we?" <laughs> I wanted to kill him. I wanted to actually kill him. I looked at him and thought, "Fuck you." <laughs> it was funny. It was funny. It's funny. We had a they, good laugh. They made me. Um, there was a massive table outside, like really long. Can like, you? How 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 big was? I this don't know. Table? Do you want? Should we, it's at Fra- Fraser's. Yep. Fraser's, Fraser's, I keep saying Fraser, <laughs> and I think I've even when I put the files on the computer, I think I've put Fraser as in <clears throat> as in the TV show. <laughs> Do you hear the who's a calling from <laughs> Salad to Scramble? Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, it's Fraser's, Fraser's, and they're near Ashford, yeah. and it's quite a nice venue. They've got hundred okay. and something acres. Yeah. of no three 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 hundred acres yeah, of 300 greenness. Acres. Yep, they've got a little um. Uh, Airport next door to them, yeah, so you and, can land your helicopter there. And, and driving there was just all green, wasn't yeah, it? it was and I didn't the realise there was that much greener. We were about of, seeing anything. A lot of green in Ashford. It's a lot so of green nice. in Ashford, isn't there? Yeah. How do you know? Uh, <laughs> Mum's got a friend who lives down there. She got two acres, two acres of land. Lives in this like, old, historically claimed building. Um, and the drive there is just all country lane. Mm. Yeah, and not getting hit by a sheep. Yeah. Potholes. <laughs> yeah, lots of potholes. Lots of potholes to the point where I'm going to make my tires taller. I'm changing my tires and removing the lower profile and adding a couple of inches on. No, an inch. Oh, wouldn't it be nice to add a couple of inches on, eh, Riley? Anyway, so <laughs> what were we talking about? So yeah, they <laughs> we made you at Fraser's. Um, There's a massive long table. I would say probably five times the length of this one. Easily, yes. yes. Mm. And Simon came up with the idea of. Get the bride on there. Walk on it like a catwalk. I'm thinking, are you so, kidding me? <laughs> I've got the drone out, following her. <laughs> Couldn't film the back of her because the dress was far too big and the, round, the back had a load of clips on it. <laughs> but he, yeah, so he comes up with, I reckon you should get her walking it along this <clears> table. <throat> Didn't realise that when I walked on it, there's middle sections that come out where you put your Prosecco. So I've walked <laughs> on it. The first one I've walked out and I've gone, and I was like, oh. I think I've just broken the table. But luckily, it was only just a Prosecco bit. So if I had fallen in it, it would have just been a broken leg and not sort of on my floor. Mm. Brains coming out. <laughs> Brains coming out. It's a nice yeah, it's Beautiful, beautiful. Is the phone still on? Uh, is it on? No. Oh, no. God, I've got to take the time off of this. Let's see how we are for... Um, how we are. Ooh. 19,000. Nearly 19,300. That's good, isn't it? Uh, let's not bore anyone with that anymore. When it goes off this time, we'll leave it. So, yes. Yeah, so, thank you to everyone yesterday who made us feel really welcome. All the vendors, um, all the stylists, all the makeup artists and dress people. Um, yeah, like Simon said, there will be a link on our Cherry Wood page with all of the details of where you can find them if you need them. And, Riley, just before we started recording, we were talking about high heels. Yes. And you mentioned you got high heels. Yeah. And then we were talking about... Is, uh, his sexuality and he's happy to talk about that sexuality. Hand, they go hand in hand. What high heels and your sexuality going? Hand. Probably, yeah. If you look at my, my if you look at my track records, <laughs> <laughs> and you're happy to talk about your sexuality, I just need a disclaimer from you. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. I am a okay. I don't really care. I'm <laughs> open book. A-okay. I'm an open so, book. So can can we? No, no I'm not going to guess um, your sexuality. <laughs> <laughs> Does not make a game show. Oh, out of it. oh that'd be a great game show. <laughs> yes. 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 Get yes. people along, guess the sexuality. Let's not tell anyone. Let's not tell anyone. <laughs> guess Riley's sexuality. <laughs> is he um, an M&M? Do you just, do you... Um, what, M&M as in the rapper or you, um, M&M the sweet? <laughs> what was he going to say? What's the, what, do you identify as an M&M? As an M&M, no. Okay, that's, I, I lost the game. What do you reckon he is? Do you know, there's, there's some... Please don't take everything in the world. No, what well, there might be. That's the thing. There, there's some. There's some what? Um, crazy ideas out there that people would like to follow. Like Jediism is like a religion, isn't um, it? That's been a religion for years. I think that's what I've called. That's what I, my religion is on Facebook. Jedi. Is that true? I think it is. I'm going to check that later. And do you know what? I think it's the most popular religion. It is. Are you serious? No. Jedi, or America as well. Jedi's. There's more Jedi's people that claim they're Jedi's than there are Christians or um, Muslims, I believe. 
I believe. You've got to do And they're only saying it for a, people, obviously, they're only saying it for a laugh, you know? You hope. So in fear, I hope. <laughs> well, I was going to say in theory, they're, they're atheists, but um, that's not necessarily true. It might oh. just be Christians that have decided for a laugh to put Jedi on there. But I just put Jedi on there thinking I was the only one to ever put Jedi on there and then it's the most popular. <laughs> you're, you're really common. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, uh, you'll be a Jedi soon, wouldn't you, if you keep learning? Yeah. What's going on under here? Shoulder pad. The T-shirt. Stop thought I felt, thought I felt a bra. I'm not going to lie. So no, it's one of Steve's. gave me some clues then. It's one of, it's one of Steve's old T-shirts. Is it? Yeah. It's Steve's old It t- does not fit him anymore. You wouldn't think it fit him ever. Not that I'm saying he's fat or anything, but... Is he, is he put a bit on now? Now he's settling in the old feet under the table. Yeah. All oh, right. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. Bless you. Yeah. And mum's all right. Is she mum's yeah. all right? Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. Okay. What we're we talking about? Sorry. Right. Let's get back onto you. Okay. Game show of my sexuality. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Got and then Rachel mentioned about M and M's. Yeah. Well, sitting there. Yeah. Oh, M and M. Yeah. Identifying as an M and M. I think I'd make a good like pink M and M or red. Oh no! You'll make a good uh, Malteser. I am. Yeah. My Brown friends. on the outside, blonde on the inside. My friend Sharon calls me Maltese all the time. She? <laughs> but she is blonde, so she can get away with it. Right. Now, we should respect Riley, really. Sorry. He's about to tell Do us about we? his sexuality, and we're abusing him already with M&M chat. <laughs> kind of yeah. want. No, don't I kind mean of... the real Sim, sim Shady. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of now want a bag of M&Ms. You, want, you fancy M&M's? Yeah, There's like, none behind you. No, I'm behind me. <laughs> you don't need to look back. Now, what would you go <laughs> for? <laughs> what would you go for? Crispy, peanut? Or oh, my chocolate? God. Are we going to talk Are we going to get into an in-depth... I don't like peanuts. All about crispy. They've got crispy ones now. Yeah, they're weird. They're like little... Crunch. They're like Maltesers, but M&M's. Sorry. There's caramel ones as well now. Caramel mm-hmm. No, they're the... Spe- no, you have to get those from the special aisle in the supermarket because they only come in from America. But still, they still do them. Yeah, I know, but they're like really expensive compared to normal oh, M&M. Just like Lucky Charms. You always get Lucky Charms at one of those dodgy sweet shops, like in Blue Water. <laughs> do you want this? Do you want this cereal? Twelve quid. Yeah. <laughs> Your liver, please. But they've done their own. They've done their own version for the UK. Oh, now. they have. It's now, about yeah. one ninety nine. Yeah. So. Is, is it Aldi or something like that? Something, yeah. Yeah. Probably one of them. Yeah. L- not Lucky Charms. Lucky Gems or something. Like that. <laughs> lucky Jewels. Don't you take my Lucky Jewels. I anyway, sorry about that. It is St. Patrick's Day on Sunday? Is that actually? Yesterday. This Sunday? Yes, yeah, yesterday. of March, isn't it? Happy St. Patrick's Day, all yeah. you um, Irish uh, people. Hurr, shiver me. That's a, that's yeah. a pirate. That's a pirate, yeah. <laughs> well, really what did I do the other day? I said Cockney and then went top of the morning to you. <laughs> <laughs> so forgive me, Ireland. Um, I hope you have a good pack. St. Paddy's Day. And I, I also, there's a lot of American people that love St. Paddy's Day. Because um, they have Irish descent. What do you want to I, ask I now? I have a question about uh, the, the language, mm. Irish. <laughs> oh, no. Is it? Gaelic. <laughs> Forgive her, right. my Irish cousins. So there's, there, there are, there's Gaelic, right? Mm-hmm. And yeah. is that just like um, a form of Irish, of the Irish language? Sorry, that's my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Why are you asking us? I, I just I thought we know. gave you bad breath. <laughs> that's Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but like Irish as a language, yeah, is Gaelic. Is it? Is it? It's Gaelic, I believe. As is Welsh. Is, Welsh. Welsh is a part Welsh. of Welsh. Welsh is a part of Gaelic, and Irish is is Gaelic. So it's two oh, it's, close. So they're two. Similar. They're too similar. Oh, okay. Once again, being educated by a nineteen-year-old. <laughs> but the Irish language isn't just an accent, is it? It is. There is. <laughs> Eat it out, or you? No. Oh no, that's Scottish. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. No, but it's like Welsh. You can speak Welsh, can't you? No. There's there's, anyone can speak speak Welsh. Welsh, you mean? I I thought you were asking me if I could. No. No. (laughs) Her stomach's like Welsh. Welsh is Welsh is an old language that. um, It's Gaelic. I knew someone Welsh. Um, It was a. It was a boyfriend of a friend of mine. Aren't you Welsh? Um, rest in peace, my friend. I, I miss her. Um, I'm not Welsh. Oh, yeah, I am Welsh. I'm quarter Welsh. Yeah. But no, I, my <laughs> friend that lived in Devon, her boyfriend was Welsh. His name was Ryan. And she used to go and visit and it'd be, going, it'd be saying something Welsh. I don't want to disrespect <laughs> Welsh. but I just <laughs> Anyway, it's, obviously, I haven't got a clue what was being said, but it would be going, lula, 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 microchip. Lula, lula. <laughs> <laughs> because, because the language is so sort of old. When it gets a new word, they it's an English word, yeah. usually. Usually. I might be completely Cause, wrong. Because like microwave is something like poppity ping or something. Poppity ping. 
Poppy ping. I love that. But what about like microwave chips or something? Can you get the poppy ping chips down? <laughs> I, I don't know. Look, I don't know. I was told that, whether it's true or not. I don't want to upset anyone. Every world, look, you watch subscribers, it's going to start Go going down. down. <laughs> anyone who watches this, please fact check us. But I, we're, before, not, we're not geniuses. Before you Welsh people... Have a go at us. Um, have a go at us. I'm a quarter Welsh, and I do love Wales. My nan was fully Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she was, was from she was from she Swansea. Was <laughs> she was from Swansea. Yeah, that's all I've got for you. Um, but going back to the question, I, there is an Irish Irish language. Are you purposely trying to drift off of Riley's sexuality? No, right, no, because okay. we were talking about. Oh, I forgot the original question. To be fair, and we were talking about languages, and I just wondered. Uh, there's Gaelic, but yeah. is the Irish, There is no sort of like. You know, like in a different language, like Spanish, you know mm. it's Spanish. Yeah. You wouldn't have like English, because Irish is just English, but with an accent, right? No. No. But there is Gaelic as well. There is so Gaelic. So are there any other versions of, uh, say something in Irish then? Why would you ask me to say something? I'm a quarter Welsh, not bleeding quarter Irish. But when someone says, speak Irish, they just do it in an English accent with an Irish twang to it, don't they? Yes, because we're offensive. <laughs> we're an <Yeah>. offensive nation. <laughs> But like, do they you, have a language. Do you understand what my question is? Like, there's, you there don't is no, hear. You don't, you hear. don't hear a lot of Gaelic Irish because chats. they talk it. If you if you go to go to Northern Ireland, okay, and go to probably the heart of what, what's the capital Dublin, isn't it? Mm. Dublin. Dublin, thank you. I've been to Dublin. Yeah, they will most like, especially the older ones, will most likely speak Gaelic to each other. Mm. But so is it like a dying they, out language kind of thing? No, but when, when they come over here, they they've got an accent because they're speaking in a language that isn't their their natural <laughs> yeah. tongue. Which is why when you get, say, like a Spanish person who speaks fluent Spanish, speak English, it's got an accent. Spanish. Yeah, it's I know. Got ac- it's got but an... like, if someone said to you, speak Spanish, they would speak Spanish. But if someone said to you, speak Irish, you'd just take the piss and yeah. speak English in an Irish accent. we're offensive. <laughs> uh, yeah, and that's how we hear it. <laughs> that's, what I'm, that's where I'm going to. When people uh, do an Irish accent, mm. you know, if someone says to you, speak Irish, you would speak English mm. with an Irish accent. You wouldn't uh, speak yeah. Gaelic, would you? Yeah, if si, someone senor. says. Yeah, if someone says speak Spanish, you'd automatically think of Spanish words in your head and speak Spanish. Yes, you because speak. you know Spanish words. I know that too. <laughs> and that's literally what he said. I know pollo con potato fritters. That sounds like potato. Maybe. Chicken and tri- chips. Chip- and chip- sometimes chip- polla, chip- polla con potato tri- is uh, polla con potato fritters is penis and chips, I think. <laughs> <laughs> polla is penis. Who's ordering that? Is chicken. Okay, let, let, should anyway, we fact check is, that with uh, this is a, this, our Spanish this, friend? This is a tangent and a half, Jesus. Anyway, let's talk to Riley. Um, oh, what now, Rachel? No, what other just, questions you got for us? No, I, was just, I didn't know where you were going, so I was, I've got an announcement to make. What's your announcement? Because Simon's asked me to do this. <laughs> <laughs> what is it you're on about? I don't even know what you're oh, talking about. <laughs> let me guess. What am I talking about? Simon has been nominated for some... Babe, explain, because you know it more than me. I've been, <laughs> I've been selected for a best director in hey. Dusty. Was you involved in Dusty? Yes. Was that a question? Was that a question or was that like a... I, don't wait, know I said, which, said you, well, which you were involved oh, in. It oh, it sounded like you question, said, were you, were you involved in Dusty? Like, I was like, nine like, days yeah. together. <laughs> <laughs> we spent nine days together. <laughs> no, I don't think I was. <laughs> Jesus. I said, which you were involved oh. in. Oh. But to us... Because you're very Irish. <laughs> Fuck <you> now. <laughs> has this got anywhere, this chat? I'm so no. sorry, people. This has got absolutely nowhere. We covered anything. Anyway, you, we've got an announcement. It's, it's you, huge. That's you, it? Yeah. I, do you want me to find out what the award, what category it was or what festival it is? Up to you, if you I want think to. it's the London something. I can't remember. So it's um, Director of <clears> the Year? <laughs> Director of the Year. Well, I suppose it's done every year, <laughs> but um, I wouldn't say it was Director of the Year as such. Yeah, for this certain category or certain award that you're up for. I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think I'm going to find it under pressure. Yeah, but Simon has been nominated for Best Director for Dusty. So, Simon. Oh, Indeed. thanks, thanks. It's <laughs> such a surprise that you mention it. Oh, really? Because before the podcast, you went, mention this, because I can't mention it, can I? Make me look too big-headed. Oh, that was a real surprise. <laughs> right, it's the London Movie Festival. London Movie Festival, I've been selected. For that. And what category are you in? Uh, best Director. Well done. Oh, yeah, I think it's Best Director. 
Oh, thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Add an, app- add an applause. Um, I've entered. <laughs> I've entered <laughs> the. Really uh, I've entered a couple of them. Do you want me to tell you about that? <laughs> no. No. <all> right. <laughs> Lit laughter is one of my favourite because I came second in Lit Laughter Awards with um, what was it? Tab Theory came oh, second, God. and I think I don't know. I think it was the actual show that came second. I think, or was it me as a writer? You're getting bored, right? <laughs> anyway, that's it then. Right, <laughs> Riley, why are you here? What's your name? Well, it's Riley, isn't it? <coughs> What's this? It's, it's... Oh, right. Yeah, that's that's real nice to have on a podcast. They can't see it. It's tiny. A bloody hoodie with fuck off written on it. <laughs> and a rainbow. And a rainbow. I've got this as a patch on my, my bag at home. Normally, I've got it tattooed on my forehead. Oh, my <laughs> Christ. <laughs> uh, I think the mic's covering it. I'm not too bothered anyway to be honest and even if you, you cannot see it's that small you can't read no that's true no, I can't see it from here but my eyes are knackered anyway Riley what are we doing sexuality oh that was the question wasn't it we're making a game show of it that's go on then let's talk about your life uh, all 19 years of it not me um, when did you well what would you say you are sexuality wise uh, it's a very strange thing because on some days it's, it, it feels different so whenever someone asks I just sort of Say it's a mix between bisexual and pansexual. Okay. That's not shagging pans before anyone makes any laughs. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just about to use that as a joke. Because <laughs> pansexual is about falling in love or being in love with a person it's, rather yeah, than a sex. Yeah, the which person, is literally bisexual. Now, bisexual is you're attracted to male or, f- male or female, whereas mm-hmm. pansexual, you're attracted to the person oh, of course, yeah. gender, so you can be attracted to a See- non binary person or an Eminem. Ah, uh, right. So, uh, so I say I class. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So bisexual is <coughs> you're either tr- you're attracted to males and females, or yeah. one or the other. Yeah. And then and pansexual. No, if you're attracted to one or the other, it's both. You're bisexual. It's... Yeah. No. Or you can be attracted to male or female. Male or female. I don't mean don't. Isn't that homosexual? Homosexual is if you right. homosexual is is man and man. Well, is, is same sex. <laughs> same sex. Heterosexual is. Man, um, female. Yeah. Yeah. And then, Bisexual is either. Yeah. Both. Yeah, not. but both, not either, because either would be. What one are you, of the Rachel? Heterosexual. <laughs> right. Okay. So, uh, normal. Why are you both laughing at me? Because <laughs> it's really <laughs> funny. funny. I like to. Did you see how worried she was today? I asked because she wasn't sure of the answer. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but do you not see what I mean? Bisexual is you like both. Yes. Right? So you can't have either, because either would fit into the first two categories. If it's either, you would either be homosexual or heterosexual. No, you can... You can, you like, can no, you bisexual can means you, you are attracted to women and men. And, not all. No, that's you right. said either or. No. And it's not either or, it's I and. I did ask you can, if I said or, You can be with a man or a woman. Yes. I mean, you can be both if you want, that's just because polyamory. Well, that, but that's the but I'm not that. Well, yeah. um, that person that. put the kettle on, didn't they? No. <laughs> All right. This is, this is okay. Strange. So, what are you? What are you? Pansexual? Yeah, I'm. I'm sort of a mix of both. Really. So you've had a girlfriend before? No. Oh, sorry. I've had a boyfriend. You've had a boyfriend. Boyfriend. Okay. Then so you've not had this. a girlfriend before. No, I've not. But you are attracted to women as well. Yes. Yeah, I'm rich. <laughs> I'm married. Heter- oh, yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Christ. I am heterosexual. And I know that because as soon as I go into a change room with a gym, my penis goes inside my body. <laughs> you sure that's just not like lack of confidence? No. At your own? No. Do you no. find that weird going into like gym? Yes. Doing that? I don't know why. Oh, so you that. find it weird even though you're pansexual? Yeah, I find it weird. It's, it's, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm not saying, I'm not saying you're going to rock up. <laughs> And yeah, oh, hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> no, it's just I'd, I'm not saying that. I but... think because oh, I used to go a very long time ago. <clears throat> we couldn't just tell, but I used to go to the gym. Um, and walking in, you can't tell nowadays. <laughs> yeah, um, no, stop touching. It was only to go on the running machines. Um, <clears throat> and that walk, just walking into the changing rooms, it just made me feel uncomfortable because it just it it stank of the toxic masculinity and all just the men that were just. Like, like you know, and okay. not hard. And that's not the sort. Of that is the fancy. kind of person that makes me, that turns me straight, almost. Okay, okay. If it was possible, that's fair enough. So you don't go into the see. 
I don't go to the gym, so. See, when I go into a gym, there's no one there I fancy. No one at all. Obviously, when I go into the changing room, sorry. Not the gym. <laughs> <laughs> when I go into the changing room of a gym, there's no one there I fancy. But when you go, when into you the, go into a girls' changing room, I like them all. <laughs> then you get then you get yelled at and, and kicked out. Uh, <laughs> and then there's no one I fancy at the police station. <laughs> until she Even comes when to they drop you. the soap. Until, until she comes to collect you. <laughs> until, until she comes to collect you. Yeah. Until she comes if to collect me. Yeah. Do you fancy me still? We had this conversation with why, our guests. Why would you even ask that? You've been married for what? How many years? Yeah, but we had this conversation with one of our other guests, didn't yeah. we? I won't say names. because It was it after get, the podcast. Yeah, it might get her, him into trouble. Um, and, um, of course, I fancy she, the hell out of you. You know that. She said to her husband, do you fancy me? And he went, mm, we're married. We're married. <laughs> He oh said something God. like that, that ship has sailed, yeah. thing, didn't he? I don't have to fancy you anymore. We're married. I was like, oh my gosh. Jesus. <laughs> well, I love I the way she, she, I love the way she went. <laughs> We're not going to say the guest. It was either him or her. And then she went, she spoke to her husband. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute crap discretion. Absolute crap. If I haven't named names. <laughs> right. We've gone on for so long and we've covered nothing. We'll talk about Riley. Mm. When do you, can I ask how old you felt you were when you felt you were attracted uh, like that? Or can you feel any was, early? I had my ambitions when I was in year eight. So that was... oh, right. Yeah, so 13, in, 14. in secondary school, yeah, hmm. I didn't. I didn't. Pro, I came out to my mum. I think halfway in that year. And you, do you feel you could just come out straight away to her? Oh yeah, she didn't care. She's as cool as anything. She was know. making dinner, and she, she was literally. She, 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 you know, she was. Sitting there, I'll do a description for you. She's stirring the dinner, it's like chili or something. I told her, and she didn't. Eat, she didn't even move her head. She went, "Okay, nothing, yeah. Yeah. absolutely nothing." Yeah. And is that so what you when, wanted? Yeah. When, when did, did you say? need a hug though? Did you need a no? Because you know we can make her sound like really bad. That she's no, too cold. she's not a bad. No. Love <laughs> lovely mum. Um, because you got her a nice Mother's Day present, didn't you? Oh yes, it was on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. It was because she liked Jurassic Park a lot. Yeah. She got her this. Does she? Yeah, she loved it. Um, I don't know Does how. she want a blow up dinosaur? <laughs> <laughs> I got her this. I got her this makeup bag. It's got the, the logo on it, and it's got a quote from the first film, which the um, lady doctor says, which is um, "Dinosaur destroys man, and woman inherits the earth." Oh, right. And okay. then she gets a laugh on it. Oh, bless her! I oh, didn't yeah, know she liked that's that. That's the one where he does the the water yeah. on her hand. Yeah, um, Jeff Goldblum. Gold oh, blue. Uh, yeah. yeah, yes, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah he does. Yeah. I think that's when Take they're stuck in this little drop. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. This little drop of water. Uh, <laughs> life. Uh, 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 Find a way. Finds a way. <laughs> um, which he doesn't do much. He, he just goes, life uh, finds a way. <laughs> but, but we Peter Griffin goes, uh, 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 finds a way. Love family guy. Uh, okay. So you? anything else you want to chat about? I mean, are you single at the moment? I think you yeah. are, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah? Okay, yeah. Now I'm rushing on here on the podcast. Okay. Sorry. That's great. Thanks for that, Rach. Yeah. Uh, what else should we talk? Uh, any more questions for you, Riley? No. I actually promoted, this is a tangent, I actually promoted your company the other day to one of my managers. Did you? Oh, yeah. Oh. I got, uh, well, they got, they, I came back from a break and I got told oh, to go to the office to speak to the first assistant. And I was like, oh, bugger. I thought I'd done something wrong. And it was just like a little monthly how, how am I sort of chat they do oh well-being mindfulness that's yeah, that sort of thing yeah. yeah it's very boring um, <laughs> and they asked like what I, what I what I did and they when I do some stuff for you I'll put, I'll put down the reason as work experience or whatever um, and they book it off and they said oh you've booked a lot of work experience what do you do and I said I do stuff for a company they're mainly a wedding and wedding videography and photography thing and mm. they're like oh I'm actually getting married in a few months and, <gasps> and they were like what is videography like wedding vi- videography and I was like oh it's a bit like photography I actually just sort of promoted you guys and I was like if you, say, if you need to just we'll slide the, there's a website if you and your you and your fiance want to have you did that did you? I did I genuinely did that as well I genuinely pushed it I got a booking recently <laughs> like just ceremony only booking are you going to give him some commission well I don't even know it's the same guy do I <laughs> it's, on, it's, on <laughs> hey? it's a lesbian couple oh no it's not them man. it's not them <laughs> Lesbian uh, weddings are hilarious. I love weddings. Oh. L- hilarious. Love doing them. Loved it. And gay ones. So all, all weddings are hilarious, but they're just funny. They're just so funny. And I have to apologise because it's so... I, I don't <clears> mean to be rude <throat> or disrespectful, but in our industry, it's so easy to say bride and groom mm. because that's what... You used to. It, that's and what rolls off the tongue, right? Yeah, so, And, and, and then fine. obviously, when I was at a, a lesbian wedding, I had to say to him, bride and... And I was like, 
Pride and Pride, and I really had to consciously think because I was so it's used not to just, it. It's not just you, right? It's is, yeah. bridesmaids, it bridesmaids have introduced them as Mr. and Mrs. before, mm. and as they've come into a room, you know, and then I've refilmed it so it says Mrs. and Mrs., mm. you know, because they felt bad about it. It's just a natural thing. You're just used to it. And it, as time goes by, we get used to not being so old school. But I remember buying, one of our friends got married, and I bought them what I thought was Mr. and Mrs. Cup mm. from like one of the card factory places or something like that. And I yeah. thought, nice little thing, you know, it's just something sort of that they can put on the side, Mr. and Mrs. And I bought them and it was Mrs. and Mrs. <laughs> and no, was when like, was this? Oh, Long time ago. Oh, ages ago. So I had to go and take him back. I was like, can I please have Mr. and Mrs. Please? Mrs. and Mrs. Because <laughs> oh, I didn't dear. even read it. I just looked at it and thought, that'll do. It's a, it's a cup. They can have that in the morning. Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> and it was Mrs. and Mrs. So I was like, I've got to go back and change it. <laughs> Sorry, that was my okay. little Mr. and Mrs. What else is on the list? Let's, let's wrap this up now because I'm sure people have probably gone by now. But it's a sexuality sort of chat, so that was quite nice. Thank you, Raya, for You're sharing welcome. that with us. You will. Uh, did you want to... Is there anything else you want to express? <laughs> no. Yeah, no. Apart from no. one question is, what's the, that one, that mic for? That mic Walked is in. what we're going to be using. Oh, I think That's what think we're going to be using when not. we do the charity Ooh. football match and we go around oh. and film people like Jez Lynch. Lynch? Jez Lynch. Is Who? that big enough? Who the hell is that? Yeah, it's going to have um, a wireless on the bottom of it, a oh, wireless okay. transmitter on the bottom of it. So, yes. Can I film? Sorry. Yeah, that's what we're going to use. It it's got a... It's, nice. You see it's got a fluffy bit in it. Mm. Yeah. Um, that, I will take the top off and put, use that as a windshield, yeah. So when we're on the pitch, that's what we're going to use. Quite a big box, that, isn't it? But it does yeah. the job. What's in the box? Is it like all the... Just tech? pad padding. You need to take uh. this off as well, the plastic box. <clears throat> yeah, I'll do it near the time. Uh. We all excited for it. <laughs> anyway, that's <laughs> what it's for. It's for that, anyway. Well, that's what the mic I'm thinking of using. I might use a different one. But this mm. box just slides yeah. off. But it looks quite cool like that. I think. Yeah. Anyway, it looks like an award. Should we, should we, <laughs> yeah. we paint it gold? <laughs> we can have the cherry podcast award. Yeah. Well, I think the first award we might get is um, YouTube. I think we're going to, well, the way it's going. Should we have a competition to see? Because we're going to enter this into the Kent Wedding Awards, right? As the wow factor. Mm. We've already discussed this. We've said mm. it's something different. It's all about mm. wedding vendors and stuff like that. We're going to enter it. Let's see which one comes first. So the wedding awards are in November. Mm. If we win it, mm. that will be November. Let's see which one comes first. Well, I've set a goal to have um, a hundred thousand by September. So Ooh, I'm going to say close. I'm going to say hundreds of thousand subscribers rather than. Oh, well, so you're going to get. You, who you says do... we're going to win the wedding awards? No, no I'm saying we're entering into yeah, it. Entering. So it's November if yeah. we do win. Yeah, I think we get. I'm hoping we get doing a thousand a day. <laughs> have you got the? Hiccups? I've got hiccups. <laughs> We're doing a thousand a day. It's not my mic's not failing. <laughs> you, you. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, you never know. You never know. Anything else on your list, uh, Rachel? Right, so because my, we are. This is probably just... the worst podcast we've had. Woo! But we did it's have been interrupted. interrupted so many times. I'm sorry, <laughs> um, everyone. We we love. We had a band on a few weeks ago, didn't we? And with all this stuff about Kate photoshopping her photos. Yeah. What, the what is... Leo Kelly G trio. Yeah. Leo Kelly G. Trio. And I think they have the best mock up of their of that photo. Of you, know, you know that photo. You know what the whole story behind that photo. You know the saying. Kate Kate Middleton. Well, Kate, the Princess um, of Wales, Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton, or Kate. Now. She put a photo up for Mother's Day mm. of her and her children. Have you not heard this? No, I've heard, I've heard, I've heard this, but I've never, I've, I, I, I don't care enough. <laughs> no, that's fair enough. I do, that's fair tired. enough. Well, I don't care. I'm busy, much, I'm busy man. The photo has been. Um, photoshopped. Yeah. There's ha the, the daughter's hands missing. I reckon the daughter's giving the bird. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon that's what that was. <laughs> but good, it? Then, then there was a, someone, obviously this is going to be true because I found it on social media. Oh, is this oh, your God. conspiracy <clears throat> theory? <laughs> someone God, said the, her face is identical to her, a Time magazine or a Vogue magazine picture. Identical and been superimposed on where they used the magazine, cut it in half yeah. and it's perfectly aligned. Lips nose eyes perfectly she's just got a really pretty face almost mm. identically it's symmetrical. literally <laughs> like the angle you know what it's like right you've been there it's impossible to put half a face on there with with it lining up perfectly so someone says that's not even her face on there 
um, we should do a cherry wood podcast one the cherry wood podcast family round yeah, we, should do. <laughs> we should do anyway the leo kelly g trio put their heads on on top of it all of so it funny. it was so but funny so badly done it's literally yeah. like they cut around and went there again are they round <laughs> is kate still in it yeah yeah kate's still in mm. it but the kids are, are this trio <laughs> and it's just we hilarious wet us <laughs> It looks it's like, like an old school cut and paste. Because yeah. the reason you say cut and paste is because in the old days you used to you cut to it cut and paste it, it on. <laughs> but like Princess Charlotte's one of the um, the um, drummer, isn't it? And she's got a beard. <laughs> yeah. I was wetting myself yeah. when I saw that photo. But it's, I mean, it's people good. have to look extremely closely at these things. Maybe she just had a little bit of a, the hand wasn't right. But if you look, Louis in the background is doing this with his fingers the other side so why didn't they get rid of that because that, maybe that well, wasn't really offensive is it? No. Cause if, the, if the if the i don't know how old the girl is but if she was flipping the bird then i don't think she's not, not, i don't think it's anything to do with her flipping the bird what you notice you notice she's got a different tiny, hand her hand's tiny, not lined up it's literally like her hand near her sleeve mm. is like that but the thing is kate so kate is saying there. that she I'm sorry, I, I'm not that great on Photoshop. Yeah. Would she be mocking up her own photo on Photoshop? No. She, no, she is quite into her photography, though. Oh, right. She, okay. I, I do know that for, for a fact mm. that she does like photography. She does like... Because she's taken... She, there was a few photos a few years ago that they used as Christmas cards and stuff like that out to the public. And she actually took them. She set them up and she took them. I think it was just of the kids. Um, but she said, no, that's actually oh. my photograph. So she does, she is really into her photography and everything like that as well. Mm. So she may have, she may have had a go at it. She may mm. have used AI on the Photoshop and <laughs> completely messed oh. it up. <laughs> AI, this, this new Photoshop AI, it is mental. <laughs> it works really well sometimes and then it's so wrong other times. Because I wanted like, to get rid of a shadow or something on this wall, didn't I? Yeah. And I highlighted the person. I said, so I'm right because he was trying to teach me. What do mm. I do? So then you type in what you want. So I said, well, get rid of the shadow in the background. And then it came out and obviously I didn't invert it. So I just highlighted this person and I didn't invert it. And it came out like a blooming Hugo Picasso. Boss advert. Mm. But it was all like... Just load of legs. <laughs> the head had turned into one leg with a shoe coming out of it. <laughs> well, it's like a Picasso. It's like Amazing. a really stylish Hugo Boss advert or something. It's really weird. Yeah, so you've got to make sure you... And sometimes it changes the people. So you've got a, a family, family of three, we've taken a photo of them, mm. and once again, she's asked them to, to blur the background slightly, yet she hasn't selected the background <laughs> again. It's changed the family <laughs> to different people. Different people completely. It's gone from African to Asian. <laughs> I'm like, this is so wrong. And, yeah, the, AI, the Photoshop AI is definitely not PC. Well, that's the thing, you know... <laughs> They're going to get done. They're going to get done for blacking up. I could they are. Oh, my God. They're going to get a, done for turning be... white people black because that's what it, it, it changes African to Asian. I reckon there's going to be a lawsuit. That could be the first AI um, lawsuit, possibly. I very much doubt it. Because well, why it's not? Just, It'll be offensive. It's only offensive if you select the wrong thing, isn't it? You selected the people. You didn't select the background. It could happen. I'll tell you what I did do. My mate um, has got a car he's selling and he wanted it to have a better background. So I selected the background <laughs> yeah. and he went, I want it to be, you know, I want to have tanks in the background and all that. So it looks, and I just did, Castle, do I, this, do this. and I said, put tanks in the background and it just put like normal tanks, like tanks filled with water <laughs> in the background. So I said, there you go. And then he went, uh, add a stripper to yeah, it. I said, <laughs> I said add, add a pole dancer. So you got his car there and there's a pole dancer next to it. So it is quite funny. <laughs> Yeah, but I also said put a castle on there, and it does the car. It does does the car with the shadow and on a road next mm. to a castle. It does work. It does. But you've you got to have a few to. goes. Mm. You've got to have a few goes with it, and, and I'm sure, sure it will get better. I'm sure it get better, but um, yeah. But, Photoshop AI. <laughs> but I, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's not AI. Well, we potentially might have someone who um, is in the AI business coming on, mightn't we? So we can ask her all of our questions. Huh. Yes, and I think it's a him. I thought you said her. Or is that the Jesse, other? Jesse, the other person. We, oh, sorry. We were the dealing with two girl. people at the same time. Right. We've okay. got a guy called Jesse coming on, booked us. Um, and he's asked, the AI asked guy? Asked to come on. Yeah, and I think he's something to do with artificial intelligence, yeah. So we can I might have it him. wrong. You could be right, but I think it's... I think she's a motivational speaker, the lady you were okay. talking about, and, and then, then Jesse Jesse's deals yeah, with AI, okay. right, and okay. he's from Canada, Ooh. and he just happens to be in England while the podcast is on, so um, nice. perfect. 
So we can ask him a few questions and mm. see what he thinks of Photoshop AI. Yeah. <laughs> so as you can see, we've got a lot of people coming on. We've quite booked, actually. We are very booked. We're, we're uh, expanding our horizons. Mm, Christ. <laughs> And Riley turns up every now and then when he wants to, when he just wants to doss somewhere. He's like, I've got, <laughs> got nothing on. Well, yeah, I can't believe you interrupted that podcast. It was going so smoothly before you turned mm. up, Riley. Nick's no, bring an air horn. No phone calls. <laughs> Any, anything else on your list, Rach? Mm. Oh, no. Or are we no done? We're, we're covered. Sorry. I'd just like to apologise for how rough this one was. How it was rough. I thought I looked at what. <laughs> But you might have thought it was funny. It's just random rubbish. Yeah. And we have actually had to edit this one because of all the interruptions. Definitely. I've definitely edited this one. <laughs> Even though it's recording, I've definitely edited this one. <laughs> because the phone rings, she goes, oh, effing hell. And all that. Is that, that, is that I, staying in? No, I didn't say effing hell. You did. You did. Did I? Yeah, and I'm now going to put that bit at the end of this podcast so everyone can hear it when the phone goes off. Oh, did I? Did I, Wiley? She, he, you, he wasn't here. No, I wasn't here for the first phone call. Or the second. Or the third. Anyway, <laughs> <clears throat> thank you for tuning in to the show with podcast. This one's been Sorry. so terrible that I'm not going to give you any information on how to find it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're here, you know the information on how to find it. Anyway. I'm really sorry. Really sorry. <laughs> And if you've got any questions for us, just to get us out of this muddle that we have on a Monday, <laughs> we have got things to say. But if you've got any questions for us, then contact us. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. You're right, Riley, you look embarrassed, Riley. Oh, no. It's just Do we embarrass you? Are no, we embarrassing your mum? <laughs> no, no one's oh. worse than her. Um, and if, you, if you're a, a man out there Andrew, or so. pansexual. <laughs> I'll wait for this bit to happen. And fancies Riley. Oh. God, let's cut that off now. He doesn't need to be on like blind dates, don't. Riley. Oh my god. Riley's 19, he's a videographer. <laughs> and he's also a Padwan apprentice. He's uh he's into anything, anything by the looks of it. So um, I'm sorry. I'm oh so sorry. God. You embarrassed? No. <laughs> oh I Yeah, he is. Say. Yeah, I'm embarrassed for him. For he's you. laughing, look. Oh god. He's a nice lad. God, he's got a nice mum as well. He's still got right, I'm off. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. See you later. Bye. End this. Bye bye. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> Sexuality? Yeah. Oh, what are you? Annoying. No. Um No, that's silent. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> you are joking. <laughs> This podcast has been brought to you by Snug Dubs Camper Van Hire. Roam the world, park anywhere. That's snugdubs.co.uk. This podcast was brought to you today by Austin's Eatery on Station Road Strood. Try the Viking Challenge 